Scott and Ariane with this nomadic idea. Thank you so much for watching this video. Our YouTube channel is all about the nomadic lifestyle. This week, this video is all about how to heat an Airstream Argosy old school. We are using a wood burning stove and why? It's because we wanted our Airstream Argosy to be completely eco-friendly. We also know that propane although it's a great source for heat in camper trailers, also gives out a bunch of condensation. And because our Airstream is only 28 feet long, we thought we could burn a wood-burning stove and provide dry heat without the condensation. That's exactly what we did. We bought the Cubic Mini stove from Canada, and it's all about wood-burning and I gotta tell you, I'm really excited to put this thing in. So, here's a video on how to do it. So, a wood burning stove is gonna go right by the door because we're gonna be in this area quite a bit. We've got our workstation, we've got our couch. We're gonna be in this area quite a bit. Um, so, we put our wood burning stove right here. I used, if you know anything about Airstreams, vintage Airstreams, then you know that it had a refrigerator vent for the propane. So these older Airstreams had a huge vent that went up here and then had a vent up through the roof. I took that out, completely took that out, resealed it, put a new cover on it, and I had all these... Um, all these rivet holes in the side. So what I did was I just went to Home Depot. I bought some uh, very, very uh, cheap copper aluminum. Um, comes in big squares and I just uh, covered this out. So this is our copper uh, background. It's gonna sit on a piece of copper on our table. And uh, yeah, it's gonna look really cool. So you can see this is the old refrigerator vent right here. It's, it's been sealed, it's been on here for a while, so it's a little bit dirty. But um, I'm going I used the existing hole that was in the Airstream at, at first, and I'm going to put our uh, chimney or our flue pipe through that. Again, that was an existing hole that was already on the Airstream. The vent piping is really important with these stoves. Now, when they first started selling the Cubic Mini, they sold a single wall pipe, a single wall three inch pipe. Well, come to find out that that quite wasn't good enough. And so we bought the DuraVent double wall three inch pipe. It's a little bit expensive it can get a little bit pricey but that's what the double wall looks like it's actually got two different pipes within a pipe and you can see right here that is a seal that goes over the pipe so it goes like that that's the double wall and it seals it so that is super super important because it says three inches right but it's actually about three and a quarter inch so that's important to know you just can't cut a three inch hole the trick here is you want to cut a five inch diameter hole through her you just center it and i already centered it yesterday so i knew where to cut but this has got to be five inches the reason you want that to be five inches is because the heat really builds up in that thing. So I really pushed this insulation away. I'm gonna push it away a little bit more before I actually put the, uh, the vent pipe in there. That's our foam insulation. And I'm going to uh, make sure that's out of the way. I'm also gonna put a small little uh, Coupler in here. It's just a. It's just going to piece of, uh, be a piece of flange that's going to go around the pipe right in this area to protect the heat even more. I'm also going to be cutting a. Uh, they call it like a, a heat shield for the ceiling. 
Um, and that's really kind of to cover the hole. And um, so when this goes through the ceiling, you can get, uh, it's, it's got a nice cap. I'll show you how that's gonna go. So when this is done, that's gonna go just like this. I'm gonna paint it black so it looks pretty cool. And then that pipe will go right through there and it'll be nice and snug and you won't see the bigger five inch hole that's in here. And of course, this is all gonna be sealed from the top. Okay, so I line this up. Um, it is very straight. You can see the pipe is going straight up the top and that's why you want the five inch hole, by the way. So this right here is a deck tight. Uh, it's really for barn roofs, for pitched roofs. Um, this is a five, well this is actually a seven inch diameter deck tight. Um, it can go all the way from two inches to three inches, all the way to four inches. Um, and uh, so what it does is create, it creates a seal right here. Um, and then what you do is you're gonna caulk uh, with high heat silicone caulk around here you're going to screw in or rivet around here to make it extremely sealable and uh, and then that's how this is high heat um, by the way by the time the temperature gets up here it's probably only, only going to be I, don't, I mean I'd be surprised if it was 200 degrees it's going to be fine then what I'm going to do is I, I kind of retrofitted this collar. So there's a lot of space in between the insulation and the uh, three inch pipe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this collar down in here, seal it, and then that'll give it that extra uh, space or that extra barrier uh, for heat. And this, I just retrofitted this. This is just a regular um, dryer vent that I had uh, laying around and I just cut cut it off and uh, uh, that's it Okay, well, it's done. Uh, I'm gonna show you the end result in a minute. Uh, took me about four and a half hours to do, only because I had to retrofit some um, some cuts and uh, make some things I didn't think I was gonna have to make, but um, all in all, I'm really happy with it. So let's go see, I'll show you the top and I'll show you the, the bottom. This is the Cubic Mini Stove. This is the Grizzly. <laughs> That's the cubic mini uh, Grizzly. The Grizzly can heat uh, about 290 to 300 square feet. Of course, our Airstream is under 200 square feet. The best kind, type of wood to burn in this is hardwood, uh, not softwood. Softwood does not burn, it just turns into uh, you know, embers. So yeah, so I'm gonna fire this up tonight and uh, it's supposed to get down to about 45 degrees. So uh, yeah, we'll light this up and I'll show you guys and we'll test it. Well, I've taken my flannel shirt off. It's really super warm. I'm boiling water, which, um, you know, talk about multi-using your gear. Um, that's one of the things that a propane heater could not do. Um, you know, he'd be warm, but with the wood burning stove, it now gives us another fuel source to actually boil water, keep our coffee warm, all kinds of things. So anyway, 
you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, for people that are uh, trying to install the Cubic Mini, um, a lot of good resources out there. Um, I'm just one of them. I hope you uh, learn something from it. It's really not that hard to do. It just takes a lot of time, patience. Make sure you're doing it right. And of course, ventilation is everything. So make sure that you understand how ventilation works. Sometimes you have to crack a little window open to um, you know, push the fire up through the flu, but it's really easy to do. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Please hit the subscribe button. Really, really could use your support. Hit the bell so you always get videos of how to's Anything to do with your nomadic lifestyle, where the channel to go to. We'll see you guys later. Bye.